Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hydra Near. There's not really much I want to really talk about in the beginning. I think we can just kind of jump right on into it. Uh, today we're going to be starting our automation process and uh, seeing if we can't get a system set up to start processing all this dirt into raw materials for us. So uh, let's get started. Okay, here we are back at our plot, Ember Cradle. We've got small amount of stuff, uh, basics of a workshop going. We've got our dripping pipe and uh, our buckets down there. Let's go ahead and grab this cart and let's go ahead and spend our money right now on these machines because I'm just excited. Get this here drill down low for the good stuff. Yeah, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be the goal eventually. First, we're going to all right. <laughs> that'll do. There we go. <laughs> I love I love when when things like this happen when you can just get the collision to to make, stick it. All right, that leaves us 435 coins. So let's drop these off first, and then we'll pick up what we need to pick up next. All right, so to work on our machine, we're gonna need some of these pipes. Not entirely sure how many we need, so let's just grab a couple of these. Yeah, that sounds good. And can we afford the hand sorter? That's the question. 165. I think we might have enough. Let's just throw that in there. Yeah, we should have enough. There we go. Perfect. 45 bucks left. Okay, so now we've got these pipes. We can set up a little offshoot. Now I think I'll leave that one in there. Take this one off. Put that one there. That like that. All right, so we're still gonna have this water dripping from this platform because we're we're gonna be doing a little bit of half and half now. We're gonna be doing a little hand or hand, yeah hand sifting, and we're gonna do a little bit of machine sifting okay so we got that let's plop this in here like so let's plop this in here like so grab ourselves a little scrap of dirt plop it there and Turn it on. There we go. Look at that. So now that machine uh, will continuously process dirt uh, and drop it into this machine, which will turn it into the raw ore that we need. So we got our iron here. We've got our gold there. And that's just going to spit out resources uh, until the machine breaks down. So let's just go ahead and let it do that. While we work on some more stuff. So, like before, oh, yeah, there it is. Like before, we're just going to 
do a little hand sifting. We're gonna open this hole up a bit. Where did my, it's way too dark out here. So we're just going to do that a bunch more times. We're going to go ahead and let that um, work. And I will be back shortly and show you uh, what we came up with. Okay, so after a little bit of time digging, I was able to hand pan up all of this right here. Nice little stuff. Let's see some emeralds in there. And this is what the machine popped out. So... I think uh, the machine's a little more efficient and a little faster than we are. Uh, but by doing some of the handwork ourselves as well, in addition to the machine putting up stuff, we uh, increase the amount of ore that we have. So that's good. Let's go get that hand thing set up. This might just work. All right, let's turn this off for a second. One trick I've learned is that if you line yourself up so you see that the little yellow dot is right above there. If you line yourself up just correctly, you can just double tap E and, uh, oh shoot, I didn't want that. It makes, uh, picking stuff up a little easier. You're not having to pick something up and then turn around and drop it and then pick something up, turn around, and drop it. So. Just a little, little tip that I found that helps. Hope it helps you. There we go. We got a bucket full of gems. And as you see, frame rate doesn't exactly like it. But we don't care what the frame rate likes. We're not here to appease the whims of the frame rate. Um, I'm gonna buy a couple more buckets first. And one of these. Oh, brings our total down to four coins. You might as well spend all your money in this early game. You might as well spend all the money that you can because uh, it's not doing anything if you're not spending it. Let's take one of these. Let's borrow this for now. There we go, that'll provide a little bit of a backdrop. All right, so now we want to separate these. So let's go ahead and put this on here. And you know what, let's go ahead and sleep as well. All right, morning once again. Time to sort. Okay, so as you see here, we separated the gold, we put it in the little input section and when we go ahead and dump this it will separate all the gold for us ready yay see wasn't that easy so let's take this and this and let's go smelt it and we're gonna come back and do the same with iron That noise tells us that our smelting is done. So let's go ahead and get that. Dump that. Oh, didn't place that correctly. 
Or that one. Okay. Well, let's dump these. That's a lot of iron. Okay, so we got our iron grabbed, filtered, we got our gold poured. Look at the size of that bar. Let's get this poured in here. Uh, we don't have a scale, but I wonder how much that is uh, worth. Ooh, eleven hundred just for this gold bar alone. Wow. But we're not gonna do just the gold bar. We're gonna make this into something because turning it into stuff is always gonna be worth more. Uh, well. I say always gonna be worth more, but I mentioned in the last episode that there is a stock market where you can get uh, more money or less money um, than the going rate. Okay, so let's drop that in there. And we're gonna drop that in here. And we're going to go ahead and get, uh, where is, wait, what am I looking for again? Oh, the bucket with gems. As you see in the top, we have uh, a 30 minute countdown window. Um, that's because we are using the free trial, or not the trial, but the free version of NVIDIA GeForce. We are planning on getting the, okay, let's make it like this. We are gonna upgrade into a higher tier, so we will actually have a little bit smoother performance, a little bit better graphics, and uh, much, much more time. Let's make the necklace part gold this time. Do that. And then smack. Woo, look at that. 56 gold bar, 68 iron bar, 1.6 emerald. It's nice. 2,383. Woo. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We are... We're starting to really rake in the money here. Hey, up to you too. There we go. Let's take this off here. Let's move this out of the way. Let's go take our money and uh, let's go on a shopping a little shopping spree. We're gonna be going to the next town over, a new town we haven't been to called Bridgeport. And uh, we're gonna go get some stuff there. And one of those things is going to be a new cart, a new shiny fast cart for us to uh, use. And so there's no need to bring our previous cart there. We can just hold our money and run. So let's uh, cross this bridge and go on into bridge pour. See this beautiful world that we have there. There it is. You can see right there. There is Volcanius? Uh, Vulcanus? Uh, I don't have the... Uh, over in front of me, but uh, the new DLC that's coming out, that's going to, uh, it's going to be over there in that little volcano. Let me see. And here's one of those stock markets that I uh, kept mentioning. Um, as you can see here, uh, it shows you whether the demand is higher than the normal or lower than the normal. So if it's lower, obviously you're not going to be getting as much. And uh, if there's a high demand, you'll get more. Oddly enough, this is typically more than 100% or less than 100%. It's never at 100%. So this is just basically telling us that it will pay us the normal amount for uh, a bar, an ingot of sorts here. Um, and uh, so this is the ingot stock market. There is a jewelry stock market. There's a weapon stock market. There's a... Um, uh, uh, process jewel stock market so based on what you have you can check out these little these stands and potentially make more money than you would selling it at the jeweler so we're gonna make our first stop here at itchy carts um, this nice little side area it's got a little sunken sunken boat sunken uh, galleon 
Kind of fun. I will gander. Let's drop that in there. We have 2,383. So we've got two choices here. We've got an agile wooden cart, which uh, allows you to turn left and right a little quicker. I haven't noticed a, a, a huge difference in this. I don't think it's uh, it turns quick enough to make it worth it. So I'm going to uh, have the fast cart because I'd rather go fast. So there we are, 740, and it is now ours. We still have 1,600. Let's go check out some other shops and uh, pick up some new stuff. What do you want? I don't want to make you soup. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to stay hungry. If you want, if you want some metal material, I can help you out with that. But soup? No, I can't. Let's take our money and drop it in here first and foremost. All right, so. One of the things we want is a scale. We want a saw. 632 for a saw? Are you kidding me? Oh, okay, so 143. Where did I see 600? This one I just saw 600 somewhere. Let's magnet on a stick. All right. How much is this? Let's see. 717. Okay, not bad. Uh, not bad. Um, 717. Alright, so we can afford pickaxe. You know what? Let's do a pickaxe. We want... Let's, let's just dig out. Let's stop hand sifting. Let's just get automated here. 1459. Perfect. 184. Drop this in the back. Let's take this home, shall we? Here's a furniture store. We're gonna be visiting this a lot once we start working on our workshop. Um, if you're familiar with this game, you know, sorry, I'm just gonna be going through stuff. But if you're not, I, you know, I don't want you to miss anything. Uh, so yeah, so here's where we can do some logic things. Um, we got, you know, magnets here. We got little display readers we got lights uh, a delay timer by one and ten seconds we got flip-flops um, divides here's all the cabling that you can do to put stuff we got little number pads to input um, logic or, or signals we got levers we got buttons we've got equals to greater than less than all sorts of things multiply we don't those missions that the townsfolk want uh, when you complete them they'll pay you in this currency that's not the regular coin it's this little special currency and in here that's where you buy the the tier 3 pipes that we'll need eventually um, you can buy some little displays for your stuff little t displays to put your tasks on so you can kind of thing you know Tier 3 shovels, pickaxe, and rake. We got this little helmet thing and some more logic. So we got two vehicles here. Uh, you have to have tokens for this. This is a little prospector. It shows you where uh, ore mineral deposits are in your in your plot. Uh, this is the hydro mall and it is basically just a dirt tunneler and it just makes, makes dirt a little hard to control sometimes and you can really mess up your plot if you don't do it right. One tip I have for that is to Go here into your settings, um, go to your gameplay, and turn off autosave. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to save your game. You'd hop in your your hydro mole, and then you would start digging around and you know flattening the ground or making your tunnels or whatever you want to do with it. And then when you're done, after you're done with that, you go ahead and hit save again. And then go back to your settings. You go back to your gameplay and turn off your turn on your autosave. I'm actually gonna turn it to ten minutes. Uh, and put that autosave back on. So that way, I mean, if if you mess up, if you realize like, oh crap, this tunnel didn't turn out right, or you just lose control of the machine, um, it's not saving. Uh, it's not saving the game at all. So you can just control F4 and quit. Uh, don't don't quit back to the main menu because that will save the game but you just alt f4 and quit and then uh it'll bring you back to the save that you did before terraforming the land and so that way uh you know if you don't do a good job or you just you don't like uh how it goes or whatever 
uh, it's not permanent. So that's that's my little tip for that. Okay, so behind us is going to be the entrance to the DLC that's coming out April 5th. Um, the journey to Volcalidus. Volcalidus, that's what it is. So that is, that is that place over there. We are going to uh, eventually take a boat, or take a ferry. Um, from what I understand of the DLC, nothing from this world, nothing from this island can come with you over there. So once you go over there, you're starting fresh. It's a, it's a new game, basically. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can come back to this world. Um, but it's basically a new game. And you don't have to start a new game. I think you can just load up in the regular button. But uh, yeah, yeah, super excited. Oh, yep, so here's the stock market for the jewelry. And that's actually pretty good. 106? That is, I, you know, I kind of wish that I had some stuff right now. Oh, I should have turned on my machine before coming out here. Oh, what am I thinking? All right, well, let's just get home. Let's, uh, let's get started on some automated process. I don't think we're going to be able to make a necklace before the end of the night, so uh, we're g probably going to miss that 106% cost for our jewelry sadly but that's how it goes drop this off here okay so the scale is important because it'll allow us to tell just how heavy an item is um, that bottom number and just how much it's worth so that is worth 11 this is worth 21 so that's a much better gem so I'm more likely to use that gem in my uh, jewelry. Oh, this one's worth 29. Okay, so let's take that one instead. I think that's all. I think we checked. Wait, uh, I think maybe this one. That one's 19. Okay, perfect. Let's start this up. When we uh, when we get uh, enough gold to make a bar, then we will. Uh, you know what? Let's put this over here. When we get enough gold to make a bar, we'll be able to tell how much that is worth as well. Okay, hold on. Let's turn this off. This ore is getting in my way. Okay, so we've got that set up now. So let's go ahead and get that started once more. And then, as you see here, the, the ore goes directly straight into the hand sifter and uh, will separate out the different ores uh, as they see fit. It's only going to separate out gold and then everything else goes in here. So iron plus the gems and all that stuff. But we can always switch out the resource later uh, and dump them in like we did before. Um, so for now, there's nothing really to do. Um, I just kind of need to... Uh, make a little bit more money. Um, there's a few more things we want to buy. Uh, I want to get a gem compressor so we can just take all of our gems and put them together and make as much money as possible out of the stuff we have. Uh, so we need a little bit more money for that. And so I'm just going to sit here for a little bit and let this build up uh, some resources. And I will see you soon. And just like that, the machine stops working. It uh, sparks up a bit, and we know that uh, we need to get a repair kit if we want to continue on with that. So let's go ahead and just turn that off. There's no need to turn it off. It's, uh, it's not going to produce anything, but uh, I like to just keep things nice and tidy. So let's drop all that gold in there. Go ahead and smelt it. Put that in place. Let's separate out the iron. And let's dump this in. Ugh. Never set the bucket up right with the iron. There we go. Pour this gold bar in here. Let's melt up this iron. Mm -hmm. 
So in order to fix that, we're gonna need to get a repair kit, but in order to get a repair kit, we're gonna need to make a little bit more money. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a necklace. Not yet. Soon, though. Soon. I've only got these two machines, but you can make more at I sell. So here is what we need: these little tool bags filled with spanners. The tool bag has five spanners each. It only costs one spanner to repair. I'm gonna repair both of those, cause why not? There we go, and now our machine is working again. Oh, whoops, I need uh, that there. And that there. Okay, let's keep digging. Uh, I've been doing some work down here. Uh, I'm not sure if I included it in the footage or not. I may have just skipped past it, um, but I'm just opening up this little area, make a little cavern, nice space. We're not bumping our heads on the rock. Can't see what I'm doing. There we go, we got ourselves a little headlight now. That'll help out quite a bit. And so we're just going to take a couple of these pipes and get started on bringing the whole system down to the bottom floor. Mm, what's the best way of doing this? There we go. All right, so now let's build our pipe system. That's going to head downwards. Uh, I might not have explained what I'm doing. Uh, I am moving, I'm going to be moving these drills um, and probably the processor as well down here. Because, like I mentioned in the previous episode, the deeper you dig, the better the resources you find. Let's turn this off while we're sorting. The hand sorters are nice for early game, but they are not really all that great. It is definitely so much better to just uh, get yourself um, some conveyor belts. Oh, 
Wow, that looks like quite a bit of gold right there. See, this is why it's important to have your machine up and running uh, before you start digging and spending all that time digging because then you can have it make money for you while you're working. Um, and that's why having it above ground doesn't really matter in the beginning because, uh, you know, we don't need to get the most efficient. We don't need to get the best gold possible. We can just deal with the gold that we have. Um, and then, uh, and then we can always bring it down later. Oh, that one might have been perfect. Oh, of course. Oh, and I didn't have anything. <laughs> I didn't have anything set in there. Well, this is a per. Come on. This is a perfect uh, chance to use our brand new ore magnet. So let's go ahead and do that. There's gonna be a quality of life fix to the ore magnet, which I'm really looking forward to. And that is uh, supposedly once, uh, once you put an item into the bucket, it will no longer have collision, or it will, yeah, it will stop having collision with uh, the magnet, so stuff in the bucket won't come out of the bucket. God, look at all this ore. Oh, so much. We have more ore than we know what to do with. I can't wait for that, for that to stop happening. Okay, so I think how we're gonna do this. Yeah, we'll take that off for now. How we're gonna do this actually is we're gonna dump that on the ground. We're gonna dump that on the ground. There we go. And we're just gonna do this one at a time. it good enough there we go that leaves a lot to be desired but it's okay we're gonna be getting rid of these hand sorters soon enough for the much better much more accurate conveyor belts. Wow, look at the size of that thing. The big R, uh, gold bar. Ooh, ooh, getting a little frame loss. Let's get this hammer. Let's nail down these things so we don't pick them up. There we go, our iron's done. I don't care that that looks all wonky. It's fine. How much is the gold bar worth? Ooh, 1,600, or 1,160. Nice, and this iron bar? 732, all right, not bad. I think this was the second highest gem we had at the time. We probably have heavier gems in there already, but uh, I don't really feel like digging through the gems at the moment. 
So let's go ahead and let these things heat up real fast so we can make some money. Okay, now that they're ready, let's put that there. Let's put this here. Give it a good old whack. Let's go sell this thing. That is what I like to see. Let's go ahead and get this machine back on. Oh, we need a bucket in the way. And there's that. Actually, hold on. Let's turn that back off. We need to move all of these out of the way. Alright, hopefully that'll be good. Let's separate out iron this time. Oh, needs to be repaired. Good thing we have some extras somewhere. There, there. We're gonna repair that one too because that one is more problematic if it breaks down than the other one. Okay, let's uh let's let that run for a little bit more. We can let that run for a little more. Let's do some more digging. Why not? Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, we have we got a lot done. We got the cave dug out mostly. We've got uh, an automated system set up behind us. In the next episode, we're actually going to relocate that down uh, into the bottom of the pit so it can provide some better stuff. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to start making enough uh, iron that we can build more of those, which will be more efficient and so on and so forth until we can finally make up enough money to move to a different plot which i'm excited for but anyways that is where i'm going to leave today's episode thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope you're looking forward for more hydroneer if you did please consider giving me a like drop me a comment let me know your thoughts and i will see you all in the next one take care